Okay, if someone maybe would like to say something before we start the session, it would be nice. Yeah, that's challenging, right? I understand. So the main thing you need to do right now is just try to understand what the challenge is and try to get as much uh, knowledge, try to research as much as you can. And it's, it's okay if you're confused or if you're challenged, that's, that's okay. It's expected. And okay, so, uh, so we, today we're going to talk about the mid, mid journey, uh, what mid journey is, uh, and what we can do with it. So, mid journey is an AI and machine learning based uh, tool that is used to generate image based on a text prompt. I'm sure most of you have already heard of it. Most people on LinkedIn, LinkedIn and Twitter are already using it and um, already generated amazing images or pictures that are just uh, that were really hard to imagine to draw uh, with people. So, so uh, has anybody tried that out? I've seen you guys uh, posting on Slack. I've seen the images you have generated. Some cool images I've seen. Uh, is there anyone that that has that is not aware of? or that has not heard of mid-journey, maybe just to see that how many of you have heard of it or tried it out, tasted it. Okay, let's just raise your hand if you have not uh, tasted it. Okay. So, only a few people have not heard of it or hasn't tested it. That's nice. Okay. All right. Okay. So, uh, so yeah, like I said, it's an AI and machine learning based tool that is used to generate images based on the text uh, prompts that you give it, and the results are really good. Uh, it's, all, it's always something different. It's kind of mind-blowing, and uh, it's different. It's something you would not think an AI would generate, and that's the very fascinating thing about uh, mid-journey. And if you have uh, heard of Dali E before, then it's something that's kind of the same, but I, I believe that is uh, more uh, picture based or maybe more uh, stronger than mid journey, but uh, they both are really fascinating tools that uh, they use text prompts to generate images and they use AI and machine learning tools. So, uh, so if you want to try it today, we're just going to give it a try. We're just we're just going to look at the boat and take a look and try working on it yeah okay yes margaret that, that is more realistic more realistic in terms of uh it has more uh, picture uh, picture style it's more so mid journey is more art artistic vibe it's it's more artsy so it's focused on paints or inks or drawings it's more like that that you can be like that also you can customize uh how you want it the image to look like, but at the core, at the initial level, it's more artsy. Mid journey is more artsy, and Dali is more realistic or more picture based outputs. If that makes sense. Okay, so so let's start with. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and start. So you can use this. Uh, I'm just going to. Send you the links. You guys can follow along with me if you want. It's very interesting. Uh, so here is the website. You start with joining the beta. So it's still on the beta, the beta version. So you have to. It's not yet out. So you have like 
25 prompts on the beta versions if you are, haven't subscribed. So you can try that out and you, you only have 25 prompts. Uh, you guys can try this. I've already signed up and I've already have it on my Discord. So maybe you guys could sign up and try to use it as we go. So here's my account. As you can see, it's just like uh, on the Discord platform. So it's a bot that you can use. Uh, and when you re when you join, uh, can you guys hear me? It's raining heavily here, and I'm sorry if that's bothering you. No, we can we can hear you. Oh, you can hear me. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so here, here's the the bot on Discord. So when you first join, there are different type uh, type of channels that are presented here. When you join the Mid Journey uh, Discord group, and you have different channels here, and this are announcements, some status rules that you need to follow, and some trial supports. Most of the channels you don't have uh, you don't have a uh, messaging rights so don't have to worry what's what is what i want you to focus on is this uh rooms or channels that you join when when you join the first the first time you join you are created with or you are given access to this newbie channels uh it might differ some of you guys might get the number five uh it's usually a uh, newbie five or newbie 205 or newbie something five. So I've gotten the seven. So I'm, I have these rooms that I can join and start working or start experimenting with the, with the prompts and generate different image. So these are different. These are just feedback channel that most of, I don't know who has access. As you can see, I don't have access. We have discussions. Uh, maybe if you have a, a if you have subscribed, you might have access to this. So for now, let's just focus on the new channels and start working on uh, experimenting and getting our image generated. Okay, so this is this is actually an image that I tried out. So I just gave it a, a prompt, Christopher Nolan movies done in La Libella, but this is one variant. I'll show you guys how to make uh, different variants and how to customize your prompts. Okay, so this is this was the first uh, prompt, the first uh, output I got. Uh, it's not it's not how I imagined it, but it, it's something different. So this is very nice. So to start off, you're going to start with the prompt. Imagine so you can say imagine, and you give it a prompt. So you can give it any word or any type different phrases that you want uh, to turn into an image, for example, like it. So this one is like door to hell inside a complete world of demons. This is, so yeah, you can play around and use different variants. So this is, yeah, this is the first, var the second variant I got from the prompt Christopher Nolan movies done in La Libella. Uh, so I guess this is supposed to be La Libella and this is supposed to be the actor or something okay so maybe you can you can give it uh, a prompt if someone would like to participate on this let's make this one someone just give me a prompt that uh, you want to try maybe it's those of you that did not try it i've seen uh Amani, you haven't tried it out so just give me a bunch of words that you want to generate image of Anything. A dog reading a book. Okay, let's do that. So, you try a dog. So, it's a very chaotic uh, boat. If you have, if you guys subscribe, you would not be facing all of this. Here, this is the free or the beta one. So, everyone's, anyone that tries 
the sports, uh, the image is going to be, you, you can see that. And it's very chaotic, it's very hard to navigate, but you can, okay, I think it's finished. Okay, here we go. I think I've lost it, so I'm going to just... It's loading, so you really have to give to keep an eye on your prompts, or else you're going to lose it. I've done that before. You can follow this, and you can see the recent uh, messages. But there's always lots of images coming in and messages coming in, and it's going to be hard to follow. Okay, so. This is a cute puppy reading a book. This one is a bit weird. This one is actually not reading. So, so yeah, we have different variants of uh, the image or the prompt we have given it. And it's, okay, so yeah, here is, it's done loading. I don't know what this is, this one, this one's a bit closer to a dog reading a book, maybe. So let's, we have four frames of image that are different variants. And what U stands for is upscale. So we use it to upscale or to, ha to have this. That's, this is the first frame. This is the second. This is the fourth. And this this the third. And this is the fourth. So if you want to upscale uh, any of the image here, you could just press on the upscale and you choose on the number the number of that frame and for example if you want to upscale then this image right here that's that's the number three frame and you can upscale it and if this is not the image you want and if what you are planning on what you have in your mind what you have been thinking about maybe is closer to this one so you can this is the fourth variant so maybe you can uh use or you can base your uh, second variant based on this image or you we can uh, create something that maybe is closer to this one so we can if you want to see this image in a bigger size you can press the upscale 3 and if you want this one to be varied the first you can look at this so yeah it's loading i've pressed this one so let's take a look Okay. Okay, here it's still loading. Yeah, so as you can see, I've I've chosen to upscale this image. Uh, when you usually upscale it, you you look at the image and you can see that it's really not as accurate. That's why you need to use different variants just to have it uh, customized to the ones you, you have in your mind or the ones you have imagined it to look like. So this one's still loading. So let, let, let us fin let's wait for this to finish. And I'm going to show you guys how you can save this and Okay, so here is the result. So this is uh, the upscaled image from this third variant. So uh, you can see that there are some issues with it. It's not as perfect as the one and if a person has drawn it, but uh, this is an AI drawn image and it's based on what it has been trained upon. So it's not really as good, but you can still make variants different variations and you can try to use uh you can maybe 
upscale this or you can make variations with this one. So you can still try to maximize it. So if you want to download this image, let's say you, you are happy with this uh, final output and you want to save this on your uh, machine, it's, you can just open the image and you can open the original. And I don't know if you can see it. Okay. So it has opened it in my browser. That's how it's going to open it. If you're using Discord on your computer, it's going to open it on your browser. But if you're using Discord on your phone, then you can just directly save save it there. And you can save as you can just save this image as anything you can on your mich on your machine. So so yeah, this is how you uh, you have if you're happy with your first. Uh, attempt. This is how you save your uh, image that is generated by your mid journey account or both. Okay, so let's look, take a look at the variant we've been that's been loading. I'm going to stop and share. Okay, so let's take a look at the ones that's been uh, having a variant that has been training. See, this is a very chaotic boat to navigate. You just have to keep an eye on the ones you've been working on. So, okay, here it is. So it's been, we have chosen the variant number four and we have chosen it to customized based on that image and if you take a look this image are more similar or more familiar with the force uh variant of the force frame so, and this is how you generate an image and we just used a simple uh words that's going to uh be uh turned to an image and this is how it's going to be generated for you guys this is a very fun and simple post that you guys can try out. Maybe uh, if you guys want, let's see if you guys if you guys want me to try out something new. Okay, I see that Sudanese husband cooking meal for his wife. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to try that out. I don't know why that was funny, but that's funny. Okay, so what I'm going to do is imagine I'm going to give it a prompt, imagine. And the prompt is Sudan's husband switching me for his wife. Okay, let's wait and see what it's going to generate. Okay, yes. Yes, is that a question? You can try unmute and ask. Yes. Go ahead and ask if it's a question. As you can see that it's training and generating the image and it's trying to perfect it and it's very fast if you, as you can see that. So this is, a, I guess, a Sudanese man cooking meal. Okay, so it says completed. Wait, I think I lost it again. Dad, okay.
see it's very chaotic and let me just try to this mine oh here it is okay go ahead so this is the sudanese husband cooking meal for his wife this is a very realistic image actually right it looks really good uh so Mohammed, do, <laughs> which one do you like more maybe i can upscale it and send it to you so and the second and on the third one, I guess it, it's not focusing on the wife. We can see less of the wife and more of the husband cooking. This, the first and the last one are more, I think is having the wife in the image. So which one do you want to make more accurate? Okay, let's just finish this one and I we can- think, uh, uh, Number three, you like this one? Three or four. Okay, this one or this one? Yes, uh, you, you could you could say four, number four. I, I would say number four. Okay, do you want me to uh, yes, make it bigger one. or to use this as a variant to train the second prompt? Did you hear me? Okay, I'm just going to make it. Okay. So yeah, it's training. When you upscale it, the image is not going to look as good as you think it is. Right now it looks really good, but when you upscale it, the face is usually uh, really scary or something. So I, I think it's loading. Hopefully I won't lose it. I think it's downloading. So I'm not sure if this is better or worse, but this is the image it has generated with the fourth variant. Mohammed, are you happy with this? Does this yes, look like absolutely. the one? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm just, uh, let me just, um, so choose one and I'll send it to you. Uh, could you send two? Because I want number one and number three. And number one and number three. With this too? Yes, yes. Okay, I, I can do that. Uh, so you guys, uh, you only have, if you have the free account, you only have 25 prompts. So just use them wisely, I guess. You're, or else you're going to lose uh, your, it's, it's, see, this is not as good as you think. The face is just weird, but you can make it better if you keep on uh, adding different variants, you can maybe perfect it. Okay, it's only 54%. This is a very fun thing to do with AI and uh, it's very exciting. You can of, of course have uh, your, you can also subscribe, see the face is getting better by each load. First, it was really bad, the face, now it's better. This is the second one. Is it the same image? Okay, this one. I don't know what food he's making, but it looks really good. Okay, let's take a look at the result. So this is, this one is the first one. Okay. Like I said, it's going to open it on your browser and you can just save it from there. So I'm saving it right now on my PC. Okay, so I hope I didn't lose the other one. Okay, so this is the second one. So yeah, this is the, this is how you generate image using the word prompt. 
and you can keep on making variations with this one. You can upscale it. You can you, uh, change on the scales or something. So let's maybe, uh, I've seen that you guys want me to prompt and, oh, you can't see the prompt? Okay, uh, so, okay. If you take a look at this image, this is the prompt that I use to search. Can you see? I hope you guys can see it. So I'm trying to not come into sight. So this is yes, I can, I can see you. okay. This is the it's, prompt I used. Prompt yeah. I used. Yeah. I can see. Okay. 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 So please try Trump and Putin have Putin having a fight. Okay, let's try that one. And so again, I would say American. And yeah, voila, fights. Maybe we can add a cat in there. Let's see what it's going to generate. Wait, okay, I added the please in there also. I hope it ignores it. Oh, I believe this is going to be a funny one. Okay. Okay, this, I think it shows Trump having a fight with a cat. Or they, they are holding hands, I don't know. Okay. Here it is. So this is the final result, so I'm not happy. The prompt I gave it, so let me just... Let's take a look at this. Okay, it's, it's better right now. But they're not, I don't think they're fighting. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe you can, you can try wrestling. Okay. Okay, this is the result. I don't know what this is. Is it? Putin and Trump mushed into the same person. I don't know. I don't know what this is. So, uh, it's it's a bit weird when you first uh, generate the words. So this one, so what this is going to do is it's same prompt and it's going to try uh, to generate an image again. And if you're not happy with this, you can just try to to refresh it. And it's usually it's going to generate a different image. Hopefully this one could be better. Okay, this is just putting with Trump's hair. 
Okay, what do you think? Is this good enough? Should we maybe try to generate something that could look more realistic? Okay. Elon Musk and Einstein having a drink together. Okay. Uh, maybe if we want to specify what drink they're having. Drinking. Let them drink milk. Let's try and see what we, what this is going to generate. So yeah, this is one of oh, one one of the uh, applications of using AI in machine learning. Uh, you guys have seen how to generate a summaries using the here uh, today. Here I have shown you. This is the second application. This is the second use. Okay, uh, it's loading, I guess. Okay, so I guess it has finished. This is the result. Uh, I think this is supposed to be Elon Musk and this is supposed to be Einstein. I'm not sure if it looks like them, but maybe if we keep on varying them. Let's try the second and the fourth one. Because I don't know what this is. This is just something else. So yeah, <laughs> this is the first variant. <sighs> the face is just getting weird and weirder. Okay, let's try this third variant. Okay, this is the fourth one. This looks like they're having uh, noodles or something. This is... Okay, I think this one is better, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't know who, which one is Elon Musk and which one is Einstein actually. What do you guys think? Does this look, actually look like them? Could be, do you think it can be better if I keep on varying it? Yeah, I just did drinking milk as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe uh, okay, try something fun. Let's make a portrait or with less characters. So, anyway. Wait, maybe one more, and we can finish on this session. You guys can try it at home. Maybe Joseph, do you like to try it? Okay, uh, maybe you can give me a prompt. Okay, Mona Lisa's painting, just the word, just that one. So imagine. Okay. 
why do I feel like it's going to generate an image of Mona Lisa painting something? Oh, I think she's Afro. She has the curly hair, maybe. Some of it are actually a bit creepy, if you ask me, but it's getting better. So this is Mona Lisa. Is it the same as the painting? It's not, right? I think she's more prettier here, right? Or maybe we can, we can just try this one more and uh, Lionel Messi, that's just going to Okay, a man playing piano. Okay, Selena singing a song for Einstein. <laughs> okay, which Selena? A dog with glasses and a tuxedo portrait. Yeah, I think let's try that one. I like that better. Oh, or a lion driving a Benz. I think I prefer this one. I really want to see the output. I'm going to make it 4K and see if it has better quality. Oh, I think we should have specified the color of the pants. Thanks. Okay, could this be why NFTs are so popular? Okay, so uh, when you have generated an image from Mid journey, you cannot actually say that and make use of it on your own. You just, if you're using uh, some cryptocurrency exchange or if you're sending it as an NFT, then you have to pay 20% royalty to Mid journey. Or if you are a company that has more than uh, some amount of revenue per year, then you you have to pay for Mid journey or you cannot use it even if you have subscribed and you have you have uh, access to the paid version. So this is a lion driving pants. Ooh, this is bad. I don't think it looks, I, even if I vary it, I'm not sure if it's going to look how I want it, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try the first and the second one. This is just a cat, someone's drawing cats. Is this better? It's, it's not right. Okay, okay this is just bad. This is just really bad. Okay. <laughs> this is very scary. But I think this one's better. Which pens do you like? Patrick, which pens do you like? I mean, um, the third, the third one, the this second one? one, the second one, and the third one. Yeah. The second one. Okay, let's keep on wearing it, and I hope maybe this one could actually be a good image. At the end. I'm using a lot of prompts. I hope it's not going to. 
And... I mean, is it, can I ask you something? Yes, you can. Like, like can you can you provide like your picture? Then, uh, uh, then it uh, tell it to imagine like providing your picture and tell it to to put you in Paris, like you said. Is it? And that. No, I don't think so. I think this is just an image, uh, a word. You have to use, give it different words, uh, different prompts, and it's going to generate based on that. So it's trained based on words. So you have to give it words to to get an output, the correct output. Okay, or maybe we can try. Actually, put, put, put in your picture. Like said, you want to go to Paris, then. Okay, maybe we can try. So, I don't think I have a picture. So, let's get a picture of Paris and maybe you can try. Because I think Paris is a, is a popular word I thought would be like easier using the Paris as word than use in uh, your image. Like your normal image. Okay, okay. I have one here. Maybe I can try that. Okay. So I have uploaded my my image. I don't know how to. So am I going to imagine? I think I lost it. I lost the image. Uh, can you see my screen? The, um, it, I'm losing the yeah, yeah, we can see image. Your yeah, I can't use the image with the prompt. Okay. okay, so I think this is getting better. So I would say this one is better, right? It has the roads and yeah, everything. And See now, I think it's a lot. Of, a lot of people are asleep because when I've used it before, then there was a lot of prompts that everyone was using it, and it was very chaotic. It was hard to navigate. Well, I think it's it's just getting worse. Okay, this is just very scary. I don't think you want this upscaled. Maybe the second one. I mean, I've made it 4K. It could have been a higher sort of resolution, but. Okay, I think this is getting better. So you, you have to keep on training it to have the image that you want, or else it's just going to generate a bunch of images that are just not clear or hard to understand. Okay, so I guess this is... Uh, and let me just upscale this and this is the last one. So you guys can give it a try. You can play around with it. You only have 25 prompts, so keep that in mind. I was really disappointed when I first found out that I was getting really close to generating the image I want, but I ran out of the prompts that I was allowed to, to send. So, uh, <laughs> Is this... Closer to the prompt, the image you were thinking about, Patrick? And I am the the face of it is very scary, but yeah. It is, it's very scary. 
yeah, maybe you can try it on your own. And if you have a, a cool image generated, make sure to send that on the on the yes, slide sure. that we would like to see. Yeah, I think that's yeah. So this is just a, us playing around with the mid journey, and so you guys can try it out. And if, if you guys have managed to generate a cool image, uh, please let us know and uh, drop it on Slack so we would like to see. And maybe we can have actually, we can have a contest and see who generates a, an awesome picture or a very uh, realistic one, maybe. So when we are varying it, yes, we do lose prompts, I think. It's the prompts are you, are the count of every uh, training you give it. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is it for today's session. Uh, I hope you guys had fun, and um, you guys can play around. And uh, if you could, if you guys could maybe post it, post the image you are able to generate on any of the channels, maybe on uh, random, or you can try, let's do it on random, and we can maybe have competitions on who generates the best one and the more realistic one. Thank you, guys. If you don't have any questions, that's it for today's session. OK, thank you. I'm going to stop the recording.